Hey, what's going on guys? Coming back to you with another video here. And I actually wanted to talk to you about something that's uh, pretty important. And that is credit cards. You know, the importance of credit cards and the importance of building a credit score at a young age, you know, can really affect your long-term plays with business. And it can actually help you start a business without using a ton of your own money, aka what I like to call credit card hacking. I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, why I think it's so important, why I think it's a great opportunity to take advantage of uh, credit cards when you're starting a business. And, um, you know, what they offer in terms of like the 0% APR and balance transfers. Um, that's actually how I got started in real estate and, you know, with my wholesaling business and whatnot. And, um, you know, I'm hoping you actually will pick up a thing or two from watching this video. So let's jump on in. So I'm sure everyone's aware that there's uh, two different categories when it comes to credit cards. There's personal credit cards and then there's uh, the business side of credit cards. Each come with their own benefits and rewards. Um, you know, personal credit cards are more structured and they have more government protection. Uh, for personal credit card holders, while, you know, business credit cards have an increased, um, you know, spend limit and, you know, can include different rewards and perks such as airline miles, discounted gas, um, cash back, discount on office supplies. So, you know, it all depends what business you're in, how big you are, and what perks will essentially work best for your business. So when you're looking for a credit card, actually, you know, to take advantage of the 0% APR, that's the key thing, you know, you need to find to start your business. It's going to be a credit card with 0% APR for, I think, you know, it's somewhere around 12 to 18 months. It depends on the credit card, you know, some are 12, some are 15, some are 18. So, you know, they all offer it. Capital One offers it, Wells Fargo offers one, Citibank, Chase, I think American Express actually offers one. Um, so you could start your business, ride out this credit card with 0% interest, 12 to 18 months. And when that time comes up, you can actually do a balance transfer to another card for another 12 to 18 months. So we're talking about starting a business and you don't have to pay interest on the initial payment for 24 to 36 months. I mean, I know there's different websites that do reviews every year. Um, I think Credit Karma does one, comparecards.com, and I think there's another one. But if you just take a look, you know, they offer reviews on all these credit cards and you can decide which one best suits your business and go with that one. I mean, that's actually how I started my real estate investing company was actually on credit cards. Um, you know, I had some money in my account, I want to say around 2000, which I knew really wouldn't cut it in the terms of, you know, scale and getting things done that I needed, like, you know, marketing, paying people, etc. So I actually, um, I opened a credit card with, uh, with Chase. It was the Chase Freedom Unlimited, I believe it was. There was a 0% um, APR offer with them for 18 months, which is still actually interest free, you know, today. It's sitting in my drawer because I don't use it anymore. Um, because from what I started, you know, I have the money to, to do what I need to. But, um, you know, I'm going to carry a balance until the, the interest rate starts accruing. Because I'd rather take that money that I'm making and reinvest into other avenues that will make me more money. And when the time comes where it starts accruing interest, uh, you know, monthly, that's when I'll make the decision to either pay off the balance, which I probably will do, but you can also, you know, roll it over into another balance transfer card, which is, you know, another 12 to 18 months interest free. So, I mean, I just don't see why, you know, if you're using these credit cards, properly and you know not being foolish with it um you know swiping them for going on vacations and whatnot you know using it for what you need to use it for starting your business being responsible making the payments and getting out of that hole to where you can pay it off and now you have you know your business that's established and you're bringing income i just i i, I don't see why anybody wouldn't use it you know using credit cards for daily expenses you know with inside your business can actually help you keep track of records, bookkeeping, you know, for tax purposes. Uh, it allows you to separate your business and personal expenses and even help with tracking, you know, virtual employee spending such as uh, virtual assistants or if you're working with somebody offshore somewhere else, um, using them will improve your credit score. I mean, there are so many upsides to, you know, smartly utilizing these credit cards to propel your business uh, forward. I mean, there are so many upsides to, you know, smartly utilizing credit cards to propel your business forward. Um, 
if you don't have the necessary cash, you know, set aside to get things done that are needed to get done, you know, within your business. You know, that being said, uh, no matter what, y you will wreck your personal finances if your bills aren't paid and you, you know, you start stacking so many bills and just can't keep up with it. So don't be tricked into thinking this is, you know, free money or anything, because it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. All this credit card hacking is, is, you know, essentially a free loan for the duration of the 0% APR. Um, credit card interest rates are much higher than traditional loans. So, you know, don't fall into the trap of racking up all this debt and, you know, not paying it back and getting swallowed by it. So guys, that's it. Um, you know, I hope this video really helped you. And like I said, uh, you know, in another video, I can actually talk about the different credit cards that I personally use and how I'm able to travel for free. How I hack the credit card companies and I leverage my points. Uh, you know, so that would be a whole other video. If you want to see that, drop in the comments below, you guys. You know, I'd love to share that with you. And I hope this video really helped you guys. You know, if you haven't subscribed and you've made it this far, please smash that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so, you know, if you forget, YouTube will remind you. And we'll see you guys in the next video.